Welcome to the Library Learning Resource Center at Napa Valley College. This is Nancy McHenry, a librarian here at the McCarthy Library. The McCarthy Library is on the first floor of what we call the LLRC, Library Learning Resource Center. As you enter into the building, you'll see straight ahead of you a floating classroom and uh, as you come in through the um, scanning section, you'll see to the right there's some new books. The first floor, as we mentioned, is the McCarthy Library. On the second floor, we have various services and classrooms, including testing and tutoring, learning services, the Teaching and Learning Center for our faculty professional development, various classrooms, 1772 is the floating classroom that you see when you first come in the door above the reference desk. And there's several other classrooms up there, including 1760, which is a large classroom that seats 60 students, and various meeting rooms. Here we are at the circulation desk. The circulation desk is the place where you will check out books. We also check out calculators and even um, bones and skulls from, for our physiology anatomy students. This is also the place where you will be able to check out reserve textbooks. We understand that textbooks are very expensive and we know that uh, students uh, don't always have the budget to be able to check out books. And so, as a result, if you have a library card, you can check out books and materials for two hours at a time. This is an example of the kind of reserved textbooks that we have. Uh, we list them by the course and the instructor. So when you approach the circulation desk, all you need to say is the course that you're in and who you're taking the class with, and we'll be able to locate the book for you. Here is a close-up example of some psych textbooks. And as I mentioned, we also check out calculators uh, for the semester. The cost is $25 and then you have the option to use that all semester long. We also offer group study rooms and you can see there's a barcode on there. You would approach the circulation desk and ask for a group study room. It's for more than one student so an individual can't go into a group study room and use it but a group of students can. The purpose is for you to be able to go in there and talk and work together on your project. Also at the beginning part of the library, when you first come in the door, there's the book return. So you have the option to return a book there. Uh, also, if the gate is down, there is a separate book return on the outside of the library within the, the LLRC building. Here's a close-up of some of our new books. We always put our new books out for display, and you are welcome to check those out. You can check them out for up to 21 days and renew them. Here again is a close-up of a few of our new books. This is a great picture of the floating classroom. Uh, you can see that the reference desk is below it and this classroom has an amazing view of the West Napa Hills. It's really quite a great space uh, to be in. We have quite a few computers in the library. We have both platforms, including PC and Macintosh. So whatever you're most comfortable using, uh, all you need to do is go up to any computer and uh, you should be able to get online with no problem. Here's a picture of our Macintosh computers, if you prefer uh, this, um, this type of uh, computer system. We also have a copy printing center here in the library, which allows you to print out your uh, classwork or PowerPoints or Microsoft Word documents, uh, Google Docs, etc. 
We have a go print station where you would put in your money, 10 cents a page. On the right, there's a screen. You would find your print job. You uh, scroll down to you, the number of your computer, the, which computer station you're sitting at, and click on the job. It tells you how much money to put in, and then you're able to print. And you can see the printer there, the black printer against the wall. Okay, another shot of students using computers and the floating classroom. The reference desk is located precariously right underneath the floating classroom. It's really a great space. Um, we're centrally located as reference librarians uh, to help you and answer your questions to assist you with your research. Uh, this is me, Nancy McHenry, and my colleague, Stephanie Gross. And you will find us sitting there at the desk, uh, ready and willing to help you. Uh, to the uh, right of the reference desk, you'll find the reference books. And this is showing the 900 books, uh, which are geography and history. And uh, so uh, these books do not circulate. They are here in the library all of the time for you to use. So they don't leave the library, which means that they're always here and available. Here's a close-up. You can see it says REF on the uh, call number 941.081 Encyclopedia, and you can see several volumes there. There's four volumes of the Encyclopedia of, of the Victorian Era. We have several specialized, what we call subject encyclopedias, on very t various topics, and uh, reference librarians are uh, more than happy to help you locate a specific reference book on your topic. Here's a complete uh, subject encyclopedia for the Encyclopedia of the American Civil War. All four volumes just about the Civil War. This is the periodical section of the library. Students often sit here and work. You can see the periodicals. Uh, if you lift up the case uh, for each, uh, each shelf unit, underneath are back issues. We don't have a large number of print uh, periodicals, but we do have lots of periodicals in our online database section of the library page. Again, here's a little bit of a close-up of some of the magazines and periodicals that we carry. We also have newspapers from around the uh, North Bay, American Canyon, St. Helena, Calistoga, the Napa Register. And you're welcome to come in in the morning and catch up on the news. We also have digitally the New York Times available to all students for free for a year. Uh, if you're interested, certainly ask a reference librarian how to sign up to read the newspaper digitally. Here's a picture of the stacks. Uh, these are the books that circulate and allow you to take the books home and use for your studies. We are more than happy to help you find books in the stacks by their call number. Another view of the stacks. This is the 900 section. Sometimes it's a little difficult to locate in the library. These are all the history books, US history, world history, geography. We also have a specialized viticulture collection because we teach viticulture and enology here at the college. Here's an example of some of our viticulture books. And we also have a special California collection. This was donated to us by uh, David Wheatley and his family, and it's a wonderful collection of California history books and local history. Here are some examples of those books. You can see the call number starts with Cal to indicate the California collection. Here's an overview of the library as seen from the Teaching and Learning Center. So you really get a great view of how much natural light there is in the library. It's a wonderful space for students to work. It's really become the hub of the campus. And a couple more pictures of students studying. 
This is a quiet study room. Students are able to bring their computers and plug in and look out at the campus vineyard. It's really quite a great space. This is an example of one of our media rooms that has a computer and a screen, a TV screen. You can watch DVDs for classes in here, or you can meet as a small study group. Another example of one of our study rooms, media rooms, excuse me. And we also have whiteboards in our study rooms, so that if you need to do some diagramming, uh, write out some notes for your classmates, you can do so. We give out uh, dry erase pens at the circulation desk, along with erasers. Here's an example of 1738. This is a classroom in the bottom of the library. Another great space, lots of windows, and uh, we do have a laptop cart that we keep in this classroom. This is toward the back of the library. This is our special collections room that we're looking into, where we keep a lot of rare books, signed books, and so forth. And as you can see, um, this is a little bit about David Wheatley, where we keep some of the California collection. This is another view of the special collections room. The books are locked, but we do make them available for students to use. The reference librarians have keys and we can assist you. We're working our way back through the reference section of the library. We're at the reference 400 language books, and you're looking now toward the front of the library. Here we are uh, exiting the library, coming back out to the front of the library. The library is open Monday through Thursday from 7.30 in the morning until 8 at night. We are open a half a day on Fridays, which would be 7.30 in the morning until noon. We are closed Friday afternoons, and the library is not open on Saturday nor Sunday. Exiting out through the gate, these are magnetized gates, and we're here at the front of the library. Thank you for taking this tour today of the McCarthy Library. Should you have any questions, please don't hesitate to talk with one of the librarians, myself, Nancy McHenry, or Stephanie Groves. We're more than happy to help you and assist you as you come to the library for your research and class needs. Take care.